options. As you can see, RAM available for After Effects. You just want to mess around with this one. I have 16 installed. You will see. What's happening guys, my name is Alex, welcome to the first After Effects video, it is Monday guys, and it is a new video, and in this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to prevent After Effects from crashing, so let's say you are editing a video, and it's going to crash, and you just want to fix that, and you're going to want to get rid of the crashes, I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now in this video, so I would say make sure to smash the like button down below already, and I would say let's start off with the actual video. Okay guys, so now with everyone After Effects, I'm going to show you guys how to fix the actual, the crashes and everything, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you you can um, drag in the footage on the on the right way because there are a lot of ways to import your footage like dragging it into the timeline or selecting the media because what happens often is when you drag in all the heavy files like time lapses or 4k videos After Effects just crashes because it's freaking so many so so much heavy footage so what you, want to, what you want to do is maybe try to go to file and then you go to import and then file or multiple files and then import your footage that way. Or what you what else you can try to do is you want to give it a little bit more memory. You want to go to edit, you want to click on preferences at the bottom and you click on general. And then this box pops up and you want to go straight to memory and multi processing and as you guys can see at the top I had this is my installed RAM 16 gigs of RAM what you can do is give this um, program a little bit more RAM, a little bit more breathing room. So what you're going to do is, as you guys can see, I have 7 gigabytes is, you know, After Effects is able to use 7 gigabytes, but if I raise this up to, to a lot higher, I would say like 14 gigabytes, After Effects is going to get stronger because it can, it has like, like, it has a limited amount of memory, you know, After Effects can, can use from your RAM. And if you import the footage, if you import the footage that quick, it can be like, too much all at once so all the footage like may be too heavy so what you can do is just put this one to up like to put this one up i had it on seven i'm gonna keep it on seven because i don't have any crashes but that's how you can fix it in one way then you also want to press this guy render multiple frames simultaneously just because it works for me because i have encountered crash problems in the, in the past as well i just checked this one i just got rid of the crash so you want to make sure that you check this guy and you just want to as you can as you guys can see this one you want to mess around with this one um i've just i've stopped standing on one gigabyte but you can you can raise it up to one and a half or two or three four or six you can just move anything around what works best for you it doesn't matter if you have something if you have different settings than me it doesn't matter it's just like what works best for you by putting these settings up or you can see this ram reserved for other applications as you can see ram available for after Effects you just want to mess around with this one i have 16 installed you will see and if you have like alex i have like i have only like four gigabytes of ram what you can do is try to put it on three or if you have if you have eight gigabytes you can put this one on four to five and if you have 32 gigs of ram you can put this one on 20 25 something like that along those lines so those are two methods you can apply to you know to prevent after Effects from crashes. So RAM available for After Effects. I just put this one on seven and then I just keep this one checked as well. And I would mess around with this one. I, I keep, I'm gonna keep this on one gigabyte because that works best for me. But in general, I mean, you can do a lot of more things. You can do research like how to eliminate any other, you know, crashes. But this is what I would recommend for avoiding crashes. And like I said, just import your footage like in a different way. So you don't have any 4K or time lapses or like 30 minute videos like all at once because After Effects, it can take a while, but it's probably going to crash. I would say 50-50. So just make sure to import your files like file, import, and then file or multiple files or whatever. So you can, so you be sure that you will, that After Effects can take the time to, you know, import everything instead of dragging it in and then just, you know, hope for After Effects not to crash. So that's what I would recommend guys for preventing After Effects from crashes. So that's a really short video, I know, but this is like what I would recommend if you want to stop After Effects from crashing. And I would say that's basically what I would recommend. So that's how easy it is, guys. That's how you prevent after effects from crashing. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you just smash the like button down below. And I will see you guys in two hours for the last after effects of today. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in two hours.